Hi, today we are going to see how we can use double exposure effect in photos. Let's start. Open Photoshop and take a document. Here I have taken 12 by 18 inch document for this project. Here I am going to use these two photos. First, I want to use this photo as base. Simply drag it into document. I will set exposure effect in this sky part of the picture. Bring the second picture into the document. Adjust the position. Now I have to adjust the size according to my need. Here for better understanding, reduce the opacity of the second picture. Reduce it near about 50 to 60%. Now it will be easy for us to adjust the size. Press Ctrl T, then holding Shift, increase or decrease the size. Align it accordingly. Now, we have to blend it with first photo. For that, we have to hide the extra part of the picture. To hide the extra part, we will use mask on both pictures. Click on mask button. Then, take brush tool. Must take soft round brush for it. Then, change the foreground color to black. Now, paint over the extra area to hide it. Use this process on both picture layers. Use brackets to increase or decrease the size of the brush. Follow the process carefully. Now apply the same on base layer, the first picture layer. Here, I am first forwarding the process. Also adjust the mask of both layers. Now I want to make the second picture black and white. Go to layer adjustment and choose black and white option. Clipping mask it by clicking here. Otherwise, it will affect on all. Now it will affect only on second layer. Don't need to change any settings here. You may try presets. I will leave it to defaults. Now decrease the opacity for softer look. Here, I am going to increase the size of the second picture. It's totally up to you. Now, it's time to color grade it. Press alt Control shift e to merge all layers into one. Then select all these three layers and group it by pressing Ctrl G and hide the group. Now, select the merged layer and convert it into Smart Object. Now go to Filter and open Camera Raw Filter. Adjust the settings which looks best for the project. Follow the process carefully. Now color grade it. Follow the process carefully. Hit OK. This is our final result.
If you like the video hit the like button, and if you want to see more tutorial like this, subscribe the channel. See you soon.